Hi there, my name is John Slipik, and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawk Rig Systems. Today we're going to be looking at part one in a four-part video series where we build Sauron's Ring of Power from the Lord of the Rings. In part one today, we're going to be looking at manipulating fonts and the sketches for the route future, and going with a few tips and tricks cleaning up the sketches in the process. So in SolidWorks, I have this profile here that represents the ring itself. And we're going to want some text on the inner part of the ring, which is basically our front plane, and then text on the outside of the ring. So I'm just going to hide the ring profile itself, and we're not going to use the front plane. For now we're just going to put some text into the outer for this video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a sketch. And the first thing we're going to want is a line, the construction line, that's going to be used for our text. Let's and screen the midpoint. And then we're going to add some text on here. So under our text for the guide curves, let's pick that construction line that we built. And then let's go over and grab our actual text. So this is the elvish text on uh, the ring. It's called the Tangwar font. I'm going to paste that. And then we're going to have to correct the font over in SolidWorks. So let's just type in Tang. We want italicized, and I'm going to bump it down to 8 points. Now this is still a bit complex for the purposes of our video. It's, it's going to be very intense on the computer as it is, so I'm just going to back some of this off. Okay, one thing to note is we're getting some little artifacts in the font here. So you see we have this little thing on the left here. If we look at the actual text, that's what it's supposed to be. So there's a bit of a mismatch going on here, but that's fine because this is a perfect lead into part two of our video series. We're going to show you how to use sketch pictures inside the sketches. We're going to do some tracing on those, and that'll fix that up a bit. Now we're going to need to clean this up uh, as well because it's basically a handwritten font, right? You can see that there's letters overlapping. And the way that the wrap feature works is it needs a profile that's either closed or, and not overlapping. And we have a lot of overlapping here. Now, the problem is we can't just crim this because this, this is text. So what we're going to have to do is if you right click on the text itself, let's go to dissolve sketch text. And what that's going to do is it's going to convert our text into a series of curves lines, and splines. Now the problem is, and this is the reason why this becomes so computer intensive, is see how, how many spline points it's given us here? It's a lot. Now what you can do if you have a, a less complex uh, text or sketch than we do here is, this might be worth it if you go around and simplify these. So if I right click on that spline and I say simplify, we're going to get a dialog that pops up that's going to let us bring it down a bit. So let's bump up this tolerance. And now we have eight points. So it's getting a little better. Up it some more. Five. Okay, let's go with that. And we'll just say yes. So I guess like that, we're down to five points and it looks the same as it was before. So if you want, it might be worth it going through those. But in the meantime, I'm going to do some cleanup. Delete that. And we're going to use our Crim tool. Cut these out. Now one thing uh, with a little tip I can give you too here as well is when you're importing uh, complex uh, sketches like this, you might have automatic solve mode disable on you. SolidWorks, it'll do that because it's having a hard time making the calculations. And just be mindful if it does that. Uh, just to show you where that is. Tools, sketch settings, automatic solve is on. If it turns off, it's going to give you an indicator right here as well. So with that all trimmed out, last thing you want to do when you're playing with a sketch that's this complex is hit repair sketch. So it looks okay. We have no problems. A-okay. Now if that automatic solve mode disabled on you, you might find some problems here um, and then you're going to want to go ahead and fix those because you're not going to be able to wrap with a sketch that has issues. Well, I hope you found this video useful. In summary, for part one of this video, we looked at how to convert text into sketches and a few tips for cleaning up the sketches along the way. 
So please join us for part two in this four-part video series where we're going over the, uh, how to use the sketch pictures to fix up those little issues that are going on with your font here. So for more great, more great tips and tricks like this, please hit the subscribe button below and please also check out our website, oddhawkrigsystems.com. Thanks for watching.